Hello guys, uh, this is Strategy Games, I'm Delete Pundle. Uh, hopefully this is all going to work, because this is my first time doing this, and I'm just figuring stuff out. Now this game here is in the space, it's quite old, it's one of my favourites though. And I haven't played it for a while due to, you know, personal life things like uni and so on and so forth. But I'm going to try just having fun with this for a while. And so it's pretty cool. I'm sure if anyone's watching this, you've probably seen this game before. If you're into space games or a strategy game. And yeah, so I'm just going to go right into it. Yeah, so. I'm going to pick a medium galaxy because, you know, this is, uh, I have more software running in the background that it's going to slow down the game and it's a different computer. I'm using a different PC. Um, yeah. And uh, six will be fine. Normal, normal fine. Maybe increase difficulty a little bit. And uh, I'm going to change this to softens because I like the science bonus and I don't really care about the uh, weakness of the troops so much. I mean, they're not very useful, especially towards the late game. It's a uh, very fine. And the unskilled builders, which is minus 10% to the improvement of the empire, it's okay. It's like, it'll just take a little bit longer to build stuff up. I'm just gonna play this single player with randoms and everything's normal. And so let's just get right into this and hope this works. Some say that victory is worth any cost, but only the Sophons would say that about knowledge. What about this? They learn from a young age that the universe is a great puzzle are obsessive about uncovering its secrets. Do not look for them at the forefront of battle, for that is not their way. For the Sophons, the only place to take life-endangering risks is inside the laboratory. Pedantic, argumentative, and arrogant, but curious, always curious. Cool, so that's a great intro. I hope the uh, filters are working fine on this and we didn't hear anything else. So yeah, welcome to the new game of In the Space. This tutorial will guide you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I don't need a tutorial. No thanks. Okay, so let's see. I seem to have started on the side of the galaxy, towards the edge. And I should have an explorer, if I'm right. I believe this is my scout ship. And this is a colony ship, that's cool. So I'm going to start off by sending my scout to explore this star. Let's see, did that work? That did work, right? So this is just an exploration event that comes when you just explore new systems. It doesn't have much. I'm not sure if people would want me to read this, so I'm not going to now. But if you do, tell me in the comments. I'll if it's interesting, I might read them. Uh, this one gives me a plus 20% on system for 10 turns. I believe this is my home. Mm -hmm. This is this system, which means the effect will only happen when I colonize it, which I can't do now, so that's a bit of a useless event, I believe. I could check if it's elsewhere. Yeah, it's on that system. Oh, yes, I'm going to exploit my planet by building this planet is a it's Terran world, so it's generally good for food. And uh, let's see. No production. Yeah, it's just for food for now. So I'll just add that in there. And that's the first thing you generally do in this game. You try to exploit your planets because 
You don't have much. Do you write at the beginning? Yes, there are heroes in this. I There should be three heroes for me to choose from, and I have to pay dust, which is like gold if you play Civilization or any other game. It's just its form of currency. And that's actually a very good one for developing a system, because uh, they have a corporate skill tree and a in, industrial skill tree, I believe that is which means there'll be a lot of growth and a lot of dust production. While this is not so good, because uh, it's a opera and bleak, so it's not very effective for building systems. It's more of a mix, and so it's not a very good one, in my opinion. I think you need specializations. One for a fleet, which will have two fleet specializations, and one for uh, uh, building a planet. Well, running a planet, and so these two are like that. So I'll probably get the uh, robot. Oh, I don't have any money. Mm. I'll probably do that in a few turns then. And now there's research. This has a very complete skill tree. It seems I've started off with these research already. Mainly down here is colonization and sh bigger shit sizes as well as I think traveling maybe a little bit while well, here's like the social aspect culture production and so on and so forth and here's up here's the weapon tree so uh, anything up here is to do with shieldings or weapons or attacks or attacking or defending uh, armor and so so forth so you can get lasers or bullets or um, connect those are kinetic weapons or missiles and then over here is more of the resource utilization. There are specific resources and it's more production as well. And some modules for ships as well, which is very important. You can tell. Um, anyway, I can I, I start off around here. These yellow ones are what I can do. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to upgrade this for four turns because I'm building the downgraded version of this on my planet right now so it's useful I believe that's right and so I'm gonna research that first and to ensure that um, I'm not wasting any science I'm just gonna queue up this as well like in shift so I don't want to waste anything makes it faster and a no, that's just luxury resources. I might change it later, but you know, just want to save as much as possible. And uh, this ship is doing nothing, so I'll get it to explore down here. So, because I think these are them um, closed off within the galaxy, or well, that will go towards the end of the inner galaxy. So, I'll just do this first. A small star. I'm just gonna end my turn there now and see how things are going. Wow, that's quite slow. That's what I'm talking about, you know, the um, software on the back's making this very slow now. The recording software. I, I don't have a very good laptop. Okay, so that button over there just makes the ships move uh, already in motion. There's a colonizable planet here, and that's a very good planet to start off with. You know, most games like strategy games, you want to get as much population as possible as quickly as possible because it has a massive effect. Um, later on, or during the other games, it has a massive effect. And that should have taken three turns, and I've done that in one somehow. Oh yes, I got science from the discovery of that system. 
plus 60, yeah. And I got plus 5. Mm, wealth is about well, dust. So my tax is quite high. Um, I'm just, this is like an overview for the planets. So you can go here and do it, or you can do it over there, which is faster when you get bigger planets. Or not bigger planets, but m multiple systems. So I'm just going to do this is jungle. See, my research, I did extra um, uh, food on this planet on for this ex exploitation. And that's very good. And from what you saw earlier. Oof. And it also gave me this in possible production, so I'll just do that up. And ah oh, no, I should have bought Commander, that was a waste. I missed out. Last time. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are the heroes? The heroes are here. Get the robot. And I'll assign him to my capital system, which is Perseus. Yes, he's very good. Very good. That is very good. Okay, so these things are the resources you have in that system. Luxury resources or or like like uh where you get metal from ore. And that's very useful because certain ships require it to be built or certain modules of ship. Yes, I'm just gonna add. Yeah, I see this one talking about I missed research because they didn't queue up something. It's probably some gone. Mm. I generally start off here to build my empire, but I need to get wormhole travel so that in case there's any uh, wormholes, because then it'll stop you from uh, traveling um, from system to system if you run across them. So you probably know that if you've ever played this game or seen this game. So I'll just uh, queue that up here so that I can get that ship design. And then I'm just going to send this over here. There's really not much for me to do at the very beginning. small systems are very hard to move. Hmm. I could just send it to auto explore. Oh, <laughs> well that's just not very effective, is it? Okay, this is not working. <laughs> oh, I see. No, no, no. Now I see why. Um, that's a wormhole. See, I can't travel through there without that technology. That's a wormhole. While well, this is normal travel, that's why I was just being stupid. These are just luxury resources again. That might be a yes, luxury resource. Mercurite and red sun. Yep. So I continue. And three. 3000 AD. Honestly, if, I think if it was 3000 AD, we would probably have colonized our, all the any planets that can be colonized in a system first before actually traveling out and colonizing planets would probably be easier. Like, Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars, you know, it's easier than going to another 
system. There's not much I can do right now. I'm just gonna have to continue going and seeing how this is. I can probably buy another commander. Ah, but it costs 80 for the second one. Let's see how this goes. Let's check out these systems there. Oh, yeah. This has tundras, lots of tundras and deserts. I can actually get this quite soon because the tundra and desert tech tree is quite close. The Arctic's a bit further, so this is probably going to be the last system I've got Oh, this can be built here. And, um, I'm going to try and uh, increase my sights on this land. And I'll well, go back here and I'll increase my money production on dust. Just making sure that this is for all planets. That's why population is important. There's a lot of those throughout the game. And you're just going to defend that. I just said it so that if any ships come here, they, they'll block them. And it won't allow them to travel around. And yeah. Then expand my influence. Wow. Oh, well, well, well. Hopefully this is working. I seem to be able to colonize these. I think that was the um, tundra planets. Did the research. I believe that's this one. Yeah. Tundra. I'll probably try to colonize those systems then. I'm going to ship. And what I'm going to do is ship design quickly because these ships have extra um, modules that they just don't need or maybe it doesn't special slot modify support module one civilian Has nothing but that's good then. Not a late game, but early game is very good. Because it saves production costs. Now I'll just put that over here. What's the production in this system? 33. Start in this system here, probably faster. Yeah, I'll go down the end. So when I was looking at the production, I was just looking at him um, in that corner over there. I haven't played this in so long. Over here, it shows the production of the planet, the food available, the sites, and the money generated per turn. And that'll increase with this commander when I get experience for him. Yeah. So this just gives them plus eight to certain specific planets, you know, plus eight gold or dust in this game, it's called. And this is a promotion for him. So let's say. So this is his attributes and what he brings to the planets. And if you see offense, defense, then that's not very useful for production wise. But if you look over here, if I set it to plus three wit, that will change. The production values, I'm not sure if you saw that. So it increases it by six, I think. And that's for these two, for the science and dust, while the director increases it for the food and the production. And I kind of want the production. 
Actually, I want the sign. Need the signs for this so I can start exploring further. Otherwise, I'll be left behind. Same you have to get commander, a hero in this. These turns go by quite fast at the beginning and then it slows down later on. It depends on how fast you play the game. I'm playing relatively slower than I usually do. But that's because I'm talking now, <laughs> as opposed to playing by myself. And even so, I'm still playing quite quickly. Which is a bit. If you saw earlier, I was in, just on this command sheet. My commander here is my capitals level 2. This one's just been added here. And it shows all the production values, what, what's currently being made, what's in the hangar. Um, yeah. And it shows trade routes and stuff. That will come in handy later. This is my overall research per turn. Overall production of dust per turn. And uh, yeah, these two are useful later on as well. I'll, I'll explain that later. It's kind of funny. I'm trying to send a million people to Mars so soon, Elon Musk, but it's a great thing, honestly. We could use other people on the planet. It's the future. I agree with that. I'm not sure everyone does, but they should. Um, I mean, we could very well all die out if we stay on one planet. It's, it's an eventuality that we have to face. Ooh, upgrade. Commander again, and this time I'm going to do the opposite and get labor, increased production, and food on the planet. I think there's a boost for your capital or experience, and it also matters how much you um. So, much you produce, like build on the planet, that gives experience. Every time you build something, you get experience. And here we go. I think it's going to be a colony ship. Mash shielding effects, great. By augmenting the natural magnetic characteristics of the whole materials and using light allies in construction, this ship. This improved ship design gives bonuses to tonnage and improved kinetic and missile defense. That's pretty cool. So that would come over here. If I add a new one, I should have these from my original. This is the new one. I'm just gonna name it the cruiser. I'm just quickly just design a one to show you how the game works. I only have level one weapons right now and just these two, kinetic and uh this is um well, connect it's like armor oh right. like and yeah i'm just gonna increase a few of those Then the civilian module that's the colonization module this increases what what is the damage of my weapons costs a lot of tonnage though i don't think it's really useful this at level one it's not useful Ship defense, plus it requires special materials and like antimatter, titanium. I don't have these things, so can't really do that. Engine module increases the movement speed. Oh, I tend to get these a lot because I don't have to repair my ships all the time. Then, too bad I don't have any of the required amount. 
of material. So I'm just going to add that to these. That's a uh, build that whenever I want. Yeah, what I was saying. Yeah. What Elon Musk is doing is pretty cool. Especially with his new ship coming out, the, uh, what's it called? Very bad with name, honestly. Whatever it's called, it looks pretty cool. Check it out on YouTube or wherever. I just put a cruiser in production there and science. Science is so important in this game. He's upgrading to level two. Number increase production because this is a production planet anyway, it has a lot, so it'll give it a massive boost. Well, generally, your home planet has a lot of science. This game's a bit slow, honestly, it's running a bit slow. Can't, well, what's gonna happen late game? Maybe I'm not pressing buttons properly. <laughs> Maybe I should slow down. Maybe that's why YouTube doesn't do it so slowly. Because they need it slow. Hmm. Anyway, I should have 10 turns so long. So long. I'm just sending that colony ship which I got from here that was made to this planet over here because there's two in this system that I can colonize and it just seems more effective long term because then I could develop one and then immediately develop the other one or there's only one in that system overall and it's not a very good system. That has five planets and that's just going to be a defense planet it'll block the wormhole. At least till middle late game no one will be able to attack me without going through that. Late game they'll be able to travel wherever they want without following these lines, these space time lines. Space time. What are they called? High planes? Whatever. That's so slow. Yes. There's really not much for me to do. now. I'll try to get back to as mm, quickly as possible. Quite an unlucky start, really. <sighs> but vice versa, you get more defense by being in this location, as opposed to like the center of the galaxy, where you can be attacked from any direction. I think I might have this set up in the same somewhere, make it easy. <laughs> I, do. I haven't played it in a long time. I remember doing it at one point, setting up, so there's always a wormhole, but I don't know if it's still active. I'll go check that out. Because I liked having the extra defense, and I. Yeah, never mind. What am I doing? I'm just going to colonize this, colonize this, and then move to search through here. My command is not being upgraded again. I'm going to increase production as well. Labor. Labor. Double it. Amazing. Now, I'm going to increase my science on this planet. Wit. Oh, I should probably check these out, actually. Very useful. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I guess because I'm used to playing it like this. Getting as much wit as possible because then I can get more and more things and I can choose from them. More and more options. But I'm not sure that's the best way to play. I actually don't think it is. It's just easier.
Ice 10. Minus 10 social. Right, so that's like your happiness approval, I think it is. Which is bad. I need a high approval. But this plant's really small. But it has this luxury resource, which is very useful. And if I get four of these, I get a plus 20 on Empire. And just one of them's a plus two on Empire, and plus three food on planets. So I'll just start with it. Oh. I have to go up to the ship, don't I? Again, I'll start with the exploitation, otherwise I'll forget about it. It's a tundra type planet. What does tundra get at? Dark shit. Mm. I'll go with the production. We'll save me a bit of time later on. One plus one in that. Where is this? With new colonization, knowledge of archaeology progresses. You even discover ruins that do not seem to belong to the Endless, but to other lost people. I think the Endless is a civilization in this game. That's the precursors. Like in, um, you have like in Stargate, I believe it is. You have the Ancients. It's like the equivalent of that here, or um. In well, Halo, you have the um, Pathians. Well, I'm really bad with names. It's a real thing I need to work on, honestly. Mm. I didn't go over these, did I? These are um, these are continuous production things. So it turns our production into science forever, as long as you put it in there. And you can cancel it later like this. It'll just keep going to produce that specific resource that you wanted. And uh, Tundra, good. Tundra, good. Four more turns, and I can finally explore this massive galaxy that's just been stuck here. I don't know how long I've been playing for. I should have kept a track of that. Uh, but after we get that, I guess I'll put a stop to it. And uh, start again at another time. This will be the first video. Hopefully I can, or oh, I will be able to colonize everything by that time. This is the another colony ship that I'm just going to send over here to complete the last planet of the group. Oh, that's got something. Plus 25 approval. I should have checked that out. Oh, when I get a wonder, I'll be able to increase it. That's great. Approval is very important, and it's very bad right now. Uh, it gives all sorts of demerits and uh, so on and so uh, and positives. Like if it's po uh, got good approval, you get increased productions and so on and so forth, or vice versa, and uh, increase the exploitation. What do I want? And it's this. It's Tundra again, so production. And this works. Does this work for Tundra? Eh. I don't think I'll need it right now. I'll do it later if I want it. Oh, yeah. I'm saying a crime, but what? Oh, I didn't have enough population. In this system. Never mind. Three more turns. And then we can finally start exploring the rest of this galaxy. 
I believe I'm building a cruiser here to go with that. And then I'll just do this. I'll pay for that. I'll increase science and that might make it quicker. Yeah, well, from three to two. And then might go down to one now. So it might have saved a turn. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, save one turn for me. Just okay. There's nothing else to do there anyway. And I don't think there's anything I can do right now. Let's check out this sister. Ooh, really small stars, you know? Oh, well, that looks cool. That's hydrogen. Eigen wings. Eigen? Eigen wings. Cyberflora, it's amazing, a hybrid species that grew from dust infected lichen. This nearly indestructible plant can be found thriving even in harsh conditions. That's a pretty cool plant. Yeah. So I will go through things more in the future. Just standing out, yeah, let's do this. And so we have that technology. Then queue up more science today. Done that. Let's start this out. So I will end this. That takes one turn. So much science. That's so much science. I will end this trying to research. Trying to get Hyperion for the repair modules. The pair modules are very good, very good. And uh, I'll send this investigator to explore over here. Scout ship. Finally, I can finally travel along there. Oh, there's a colonized planet over there, colonizable. Uh, and I'll send this ship to. Uh, defend on this side and defend that planet while also defending him and yeah i will end i'll save this game and then i'll end this here for now save oh it auto saves before save on the last auto save and the game and that is that thank you for listening and watching and uh, please subscribe